Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a new episode related with the Universal Mains Dimmer Board MPDM version 4. Uh, today <clears throat> we will uh, talk about something that I consider very very special. Um, I was thinking actually this morning and I really think this one is probably the easiest way ever that I've seen to be able to control your uh, interface, your dimmer, your hardware application uh, through the internet. Have you ever heard about Blink? Uh, I must admit that I just found Blink about two weeks ago and uh, I was thinking to just give it a try to see how it's working and I must say that it's something really amazing. So <clears throat> basically what's Blink? And what's so important about Blink? So basically Blink it, it's a library. Uh, Blink it's just a library that uh, can be used inside the Arduino IDE and it has also an, an app as the one that you can see here that is running on your uh, smartphone, your iOS or Android smartphone and will help you to control your Arduino, Raspberry Pi or in our case um, our uh, ESP8266 Next Evolution board over the internet. And uh, okay, you will say, yeah, but come on, we heard about so many different uh, apps that are doing already the same thing. What's so special for this one? What I find special for this one is the way that you can very, very, very easily define your graphical interface on your smartphone. Uh, you don't need to write any kind of code. Uh, you have already defined some widgets and you are dragging and dropping them and just bring the desired values for you and that's it. <coughs> and because it's so easy, I can say deadly simple to use, uh, I find it as a, the perfect companion for our universal dimmer board that you know already it's also designed to be used as easy as simple. Uh, from a, of, a point of view I see Blink in the same way that I can see the MPDM version 4 board or uh, our uh, ESP266 Next Evolution board as if you want basic bricks. So <clears throat> in this example where we will use the Arduino and the, the Blink library, uh, we are using, if you want, uh, these three basic bricks. The Blink on the smartphone and on the Arduino ID, the MPDM version 4 universal dimmer board and our ESP8266 next evolution board. <clears throat> now in terms of the Arduino software, everything is very, very, very simple. So as you can see, we have just uh, include the, the Blink library, the ESP8266 library. We have the authentication token that you will see later is generated from the, the smartphone uh, Blink application. And we put it here. And uh, in the setup stage, we are just defining for uh, debugging the, the serial interface, the local serial interface and we will begin the blink process 
with authentication and connection to our Wi-Fi network because we are using uh, uh, ESP8266 over Wi-Fi. So basically, this is our SSID here. Uh, we are in the ESP lab here, and uh, this is the the Wi-Fi uh, key. And after that, the only thing that you need to do in the Arduino software is to start Blink. Yes, start Blink. Blink, run, that's it. End of story, period. This is the entire software that you must run on your ESP8266. So <clears throat> let's give it a quick try. It's, it's already uploaded to uh, not spend any more time with the uploading so I've just compiled it and uploaded it now let's go a little bit on the smartphone <clears throat> so this is the, the the blink interface on the smartphone this is just a standard Android phone it's a Samsung phone yeah so what I've done here, I have just defined uh, a new interface. It's something very, very simple. So basically, I've just added a new project. So you are creating a project, you are typing here the name that you want, and uh, after that, you will choose the hardware that you want. In our case, it's a PA266 and uh, here it will be generated your uh, authentication token key that you need to put here in the software so this key will be the same as the one here yeah uh, press create and that's it you are creating a new project the new project will come with uh, this uh, blank page if you want yeah so in this blank page i just i've just added uh, a button and a slide uh, for the button when you are defining the button you are you choose your uh, GPIO pin in our case is GP2 uh, I let the transition from low to high yeah. it's not a button I said let's be a switch button and that's it. this is your button uh, for slider, I add a new slider uh, I choose the GPIO pin in our case it's uh, GP5 and uh, I defined the, the site interval for the PWM values from 0 to 880 and that's it. it all of it so now let's try to, to start it and let's see what's happening okay so let me reboot now i'm restarting the esp266 as you can see it was connecting to the wi-fi okay the ip network and now it's connecting to to the blink server in the cloud yeah okay and we will press the play button just to start the app okay and let's see what's happening so <clears throat> the button it's defined on the gpio2 that it's uh, connected in this case 
to this uh, blue LED yeah so when we are pressing this button you see now it's on it's off uh, now it's on off on off on let me drop it to make it easier so off on off on uh, i've done this button just uh, to, to make a very very simple uh, test now for the slider uh, as you can see we have the slider as was defined from uh, 0 to 880 880 it's the the minimum value so uh, represents the light bulb off yeah and if we start increase uh, decreasing value then we will see the light bulb becoming brighter and brighter uh, so as usual means full on so you see we can just slide very very smooth between the the values with the slider so the entire communication is done over the internet through the the uh, blink cloud so uh, you can be connected with your smartphone on the other side of the world and you can uh, send commands to to your esp266 as it is in this uh, in this case. uh you have also the option to uh, install a local server uh, in your own network and uh, then uh, obviously we, you will be out of the cloud and uh, if you are using also a vpn then uh, of course i think you are more safe and secure so uh, from my point of view I think it's better to have your own server under your own control and uh, just connect the clients through a secure VPN and then obviously you know exactly what's happening. But uh, let's say in terms of the of the technology behind it's it's absolutely brilliant. I must say that I was very very well impressed about uh, how well it's working and uh, how easy and smooth is everything so this is our very short example of uh, using ESP8266 with uh, the universal uh, dimmer board MPDM version 4 and with this beautiful piece of software the link library inside the Arduino ID. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.